Welcome back to the MGH United Road to Glory, guys. Today, we need to make a decision. Are we going to complete the objective to sign a midfield player as a crucial first team player? I have to do that if I want to complete all the objectives that I can realistically control. Do I do it or not? Of course, we have Anguissa still being scouted at the moment. My God, he's, a, he's an absolute beast. The, the money it's going to be to sign him but as a free signing, it might be worthwhile. Um, but of course, if I sign a player for next season now, I don't think that will count. However, I have found Click, Klich, as I like to call him, uh, the Polish midfielder for Leeds. He is also only six months remaining on his contract. He's a midfielder. He would be a crucial first team player, I'm pretty sure. But also, I noticed we're playing against Sheffield United up next, actually. They've got Mark Oot. I think that's how you say it, Oot. I don't think it's Ooth. But um, he is 32 years old. He's a midfielder. He's a cam. But I could convert him to a striker, potentially. It would tick the objective, and it would give us some reinforcement in that striker position. Because, as you know, Hartman not looking so good at the moment. Uh, Joshua Jackson looks good, but still pretty low-rated. And if Theo gets injured, I'm in a bit of trouble. And it could be just for six months and then we sell Uth on. It might be that it's quite a good deal, this. With six months remaining, we would get a pretty cheap purchase price, I think. I don't know. I don't know what to do. One thing I definitely do think I should be looking into seriously is signing Anguissa for next season. He will give us that massive push to Premier League football. Imagine him and Patino or him and Nixon. Just absolutely incredible. So I think I'm going to do it. And I'm, I'm going to do it first because what if it actually counts to the objective? Then I wouldn't need to sign one of the other two right now. So let's approach to sign him for next season. What a boost this would be. A free signing of one of the best players in the championship. This would be a marquee signing for us. Of course, he's going to want a crucial squad role. Okay, he's happy with that. We'll go with a four-year contract from next year. That means he'll be 32-33. He only wants a two-year deal. All right, we'll try three. And that has been accepted. We don't need a release clause. And we're looking at 30000 a week. It's a lot of money, but the thing is, guys, it's affordable and it's, it's definitely worth it. He's, he's going to be at least, what, 78 rated, maybe even more. So what I'm going to do here, can you see it? Oh, behind my camera, it says signing bonus 290,000. In fact, what I can do is just quickly hide it. 290,000 signing bonus and 310,000 on the appearances. I'll leave my camera off for this bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the appearances fee. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bring this down to 30,000. But I will, I will increase this signing bonus to 350. What do you reckon? Let me turn my camera back on so you can see my beautiful face, both in-game and here. <laughs> okay, so he has accepted the signing bonus. However, he wants 33,000. It's a done deal. There is no way I'm risking negotiating further and losing out on one of the best players in the league, for sure. Anguissa is going to be an MGH United player from next season, and I've barely had to spend a penny, so we're still ploughing investment into the stadium. Look at his stats. Look at... I'm sorry, guys. There's no way I wasn't doing it. Absolutely unreal. And also, it's protecting myself. Let's say we do get a big offer for Patino, Nixon. It's somewhat okay because we've got someone coming in. Oh, I think it counts. It did. Fantastic news. But do I still go for Ooth? Oot, sorry. Do I still go for Oot? I don't necessarily need to. Okay, this is how I'm going to decide it. If he's in the top 10 goal scorers, I might try and sign him. <laughs> Let's see. And oh, he's got 12 goals this season. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, we'll scout him and see how much it will cost. If it's a lot of money, then of course I'm not going to do it. But there we go. Confirmation that you can sign players on a pre-contract and it will count towards objectives. 
Anyway, we're looking a bit more healthy in the league right now. Barnsley lost their last game, and I think Coventry did as well. So we're actually two points outside of the top six. That's pretty crazy, considering the run we've been on has been very up and down. But of course, up next, we're up against the best team in the league. Oh, if Uth scores against me, I keep calling him Uth. If Uth scores against me, I'm going to be mad. To Bramall Lane we go, and look who it is. Hackford, number 28. Is he starting? I've got a feeling he might be, if they're showing me him in the pre-warm-up. He is. He actually is playing against us. Oh, man, I'm nervous now. I cannot let Hackford score against us. The fact is, guys, obviously I didn't want to sell him. He's now gone to the best club in the league. And he's starting up top for them. He will be in the Premier League next season. Fair play to him. But we'll meet him there in a couple of seasons. Hopefully, after next season. I still don't think we're going to get promoted this year. Even if we did somehow make it into the playoffs, I just don't think I win it. I don't. I've been struggling against the top teams. I'm going to have a shot here with Huggins. Go on. Okay, how many of you thought that went in? <laughs> I genuinely thought that was dipping in. What an incredible goal that would have been. I'm not sure why he got so much height on it. But look, that is really close to being a spectacular goal. Let's go down this left side. Here is Joyce. Gets another start today. Going to play it back to Sutton. Patino. In for Joyce. Dink it. Oh, man. Maybe I should have gone, in, gone inside and had a shot. Maybe I could have got a shot away. There's Uth. Oh, I've called him Uth again. There is Oot, I mean. Maybe I shouldn't sign him just because I'm going to get his name wrong all the time. <laughs> Staunton over to Robinson. Can we take on the defender? No. I've just ran straight into him there. I tried to do a little body feint and, and kind of roll it around. And I didn't do it very well. Here's Oot again. He would be a very short-term signing. He wouldn't be a long-term player for us of course I'm still considering it it might it might be good do we need another striker though because he would definitely play up front for me I don't think I'd play him at cam hmm I don't know what a ball from Wheatley splitting their midfield Staunton now oh one of these days he will consistently score those his shooting still needs a little bit of work I do like Staunton at cam I know I've, I've seen some people saying that he was better on the wing and the thing is, it's not like it's a concrete decision. I can move him around. But when, when Robinson was available, it made sense to play him as a winger. He's definitely more of a winger than Staunton is. And um, yeah, I think Staunton is only going to get better at Cam. I, I don't think he was going to get too much better as a winger. He, he hasn't got the pace, you know. We do have time before the break here, I think, to get on one last attack. Here is Patino. I think Joyce is going to make a run on the inside here. Go on, have a shot. Oh! That was going in for sure. Good save. We will get one more opportunity. I'm going to try and aim this towards Burton. Oh, it's going to go to Theo at the back post. Oh, hang on. The chance isn't over yet. Look at Joyce go. Dink it in the box. Oh, my God. Why did he take an extra touch? Damn it. Okay, half time here at Bramall Lane. Nil-nil. Here is Hackford on the ball. He's just so quick, isn't he? Just... Even at a jogging speed, it's almost as if he's sprinting. Here is Oot. Oh, good interception. That could have been dangerous. Here's Robinson now. Inside to Staunton. Hello. Joyce making a run in behind. He should get there. No. Oh. If only he was just a tad quicker. Or if only the defender made a little mistake. Or the goalkeeper right now. Just let it go through your legs, mate. Give me a goal. <laughs> Making some changes here, as are Sheffield United. I've decided to bring on Steele. I've also got Nkudu. And who else did I bring on? Garbit. He is coming on behind the striker as well. Staunton's going to be moving over onto the right wing. Um, Garbit's just scored from nowhere. I just thought, why not? Let's have a pop. It won't go in, but... You know, you don't score those kind of goals unless you try. And this is just stupid. Let's have a look at this. Nah. <laughs> the goalkeeper has had an absolute mare 
It's not even that good of a shot. <laughs> it's gone over his hand. Okay. Um, Garbit has come on and potentially got us the winning goal against top of the league. Make it make sense. How is that going in? They've just given it straight back to Staunton. Oh, God. Okay. Huggins is tucked in and he's left a massive gap. But Norrington Davies was that? Took so long to control it. And the chance is pretty much gone now. Got a load of blue shirts back. Yeah, Norrington Davies. It's a long name. Oh, no. Oh, Oot. Almost scored. Would that have been the moment I signed him if he scored that? <laughs> As a punishment for scoring an equaliser against us, you're going to have to play for us and delay your journey to the Premier League by an extra season. <laughs> That's one hell of a punishment. Not long left now, guys. And the good news is Hackford has gone off. They've brought on Brewster. Brewster, I signed him in the Sunderland career mode. I remember that very well. What a finisher he is. But at least it won't be Hackford that scores the equaliser if they do. Here goes Theo now. Over to Staunton. I'm just going to go alone. He's in. Finish it. Yes! We've beaten the best team in the league away from home. Oh, my God. We could be in the top six now. <laughs> Absolutely mental. It really is. What a crazy game of FIFA. Great finish in the end from Nixon under a little bit of pressure there. Staunton with a good run. And that should be it, guys. Wow, what a result. That is massive. Yep, and just like that, we're fifth. Look at the gap between fourth and fifth. 14 points. So basically, fifth is the best we can get this season. 100% and, and I, I don't think that's going to happen. You've got Nottingham Forest who are better than us. Stoke who are definitely better than us. Both right there. Barnsley and Coventry. Maybe we're better than them. So maybe I'm finally at my realism, if that makes sense. This is probably as good as it's going to get. We are seventh best in the league, maybe, which to be fair... Seeing as we were all the way down here not too long ago. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. Okay, we've got three emails to go through here. Two rescheduled games and a bit of money from the FA Cup for progressing to the next round. West Brom up next. <gasps> Did you see that? Did you guys just see what I saw? Okay, wait. First of all... An offer has come in for Cargill. We are going to reject this. I don't want Cargill to go. Um, if you're confused, I just saw an Arsenal badge. And I think we've been given Arsenal in the FA Cup. Oh my God, we have. That is oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, right. Well, let's play West Brom at home. And then we've got Arsenal. It's kind of a shame it won't be at the United Arena. It's going to be at Craven Cottage. But to be fair, I would have rather it was at the Emirates. That would have been absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm actually going to rest some players for that game. West Brom, one of the best teams in the league. Yeah, whatever. I want to have my team fully fit for Arsenal. So Staunton's going to come out for Garbit. Uh, I'm going to rest Theo as well and have Jackson start. And Kudu can start. I'll go with Steele. I will go with McKay. I think I'll stick with Burton and Wheatley just because, you know, it's going to be a tricky game defensively, this. And, yeah, why not? Let's go. Oh, actually, hang on. We could go with Garbit a little bit deeper. We'll play him at centre mid. And then we will have Lasala come in. I was really impressed with Lasala last time we used him. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Although, should I go with Lacey? I should probably do the right thing and play a player that is going to play there in the future. And then Garbit can come on as a sub. Or do I start him? At... Oh, okay. I'm going to do the right thing here. I'm getting excited about having another young player to use. But Lasala will come on in the second half as a sub. The thing is, guys, we've just beaten Sheffield United. So surely I can beat West Brom. Even with a couple of changes to the team, it's definitely possible. Especially if they make some poor passes like that. Just going to throw this straight away to Nkudu. Nice. Up to Jackson. Robinson could be in. What a start this could be. The Ginger Wizard. 
Can he finish it? Go on. No. <laughs> He's somehow tipped it away. No. Oh, that is so harsh. And Joshua was running in there. Joshua Jackson almost finished it. Okay, let's get the corner in from Nkudu. Wheatley's been pushed there. Hello. Ref, wake up, mate. Got it back with Sutton. Oh, the pass was there and I've missed it. And now we are going to be having to really, really be careful here. A man is through. <laughs> Wheatley can defend that. Okay, we're even now. <laughs> we are absolutely even now. Oh, Lacey. Burst of acceleration there. Over to Nkudu. Got to go on the inside. Over to Jackson. It's a poor pass. Man, why? Why aren't I playing just the simple pass? Well, that wasn't even a hard pass to make. It just didn't work. Right, we've got it back. Well done, McKay. Steps up. Here goes Robinson again. Going through the middle. Around the right. That's a foul. Ref, come on, man. How is that not a foul? Once again, a man is through. <laughs> His name is Man. That's so funny. I hope his wife didn't take his second name. Her second name would be Man. I mean, <laughs> oh, that could have been penalty. It could have been a penalty. I think we've got away with one there. Ball over the top for Nkudu. Go on. Oh, oh, man. I thought I was going to get lucky. And once again, Man is through. Why? What is Sutton doing today? Is he sleeping? Slide in here? No, he didn't go for the cross. Should have seen that come in. Will he this time? No, nope. passes it back. It's all down this right side. I think Unkudu could be doing more to help, maybe, defensively. Trying to get a tackle in here with McKay. Can't get to it. Oh, there we go. We've picked it up. Let's go. Lacey on the right side for Robinson. Should have that. No, okay. And once again, a promising attack comes to nothing. Good run. No way. What a tackle. They've given it back. They felt bad. <laughs> Just have it back. It was a good run. Here goes Jackson. Hits it. Oh, he is a good player, you know. We, we don't need to sign Oot. We don't. I can just use Jackson. It was more for the objective, but of course... Oh, wow, that was close. The, uh, the signing of uh, Anguissa for next season has obviously completed that. Half time. Nil-nil again against one of the best teams in the league, and we are competing. I'm kind of getting deja vu of last season. You know, when I was really struggling and saying, you know, I'm probably not going to get promoted. And then all of a sudden, things started to click again. If I show you my team... Oh, it's not the full team, though, is it? Basically, though, we have actually a lot of 75-plus players now. And that, of course, is pretty good for the championship. And it happens very quickly. It's definitely not my favourite thing about FIFA these days. Well, that was a lucky touch, wasn't it? I feel like the bonus stats you get is just too much. It makes it too easy. That should be a yellow card for sure. So um, I, I don't think we're going to get promoted this season. We're, we're, we're probably near the playoffs. And even if we get to the playoffs, I don't think we win the playoffs. But you, you never know, I guess. I just I feel like we need another season in the championship before we hit the Premier League. Because imagine if I get Premier League football next season and I get relegated, then I have to do another championship season just to get back to the Premier League. And I would smash the championship in two seasons time. So I think it makes sense that we, we do get an extra year here just to build the players up a little bit more. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. Regardless of what happens in the league this year, we're not getting top four. We've already seen how many points we're behind. But if I do get fifth or sixth and I get to the playoffs, doesn't mean I'm going to get Premier League football, does it? I still have to win at Wembley and earn my right. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's off the post. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised we're not losing this game. Here they come again. Why am I letting him shoot? Why didn't I close him down? Oh, man. Anyway, I think it's time to make some changes. Um, Garbit's not actually doing too much. I'm going to bring in Lasala for this one. I, I want to give him another go. Joyce on the left, because, again, Nkudu's not having his, his best game ever. 
And I'm going to go with Nixon instead of Lacey. Swap those guys around. Kind of a fresh feel in midfield. And we've got 25 minutes. Anything can happen in 25 minutes. Maybe West Brom are going to score now. I really hope not. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. Oh, for God's sake. Who is this man player? He's absolutely incredible. And what a ball that is. Robinson, I see you. Steele plays it over the top. That is... Wow. Steele with a lovely pass. Come on, Robinson. Come on. Oh. Oh. The pass was going straight into Jackson there. And I score for sure. He scores there if that pass makes it through. Okay, but remind me, guys. I need to have a look at this man player. Right winger for West Brom. Or is he a right striker? Look at him go. He's, he's getting in the box now. He has been the thorn in my side this entire game. Unbelievable. Still got time here to potentially concede or score. <laughs> that was close. Here is Steele again. Into Joyce. Over to Lasala. Wait, is he left or right footed? I need to double check. I don't want to shoot with the wrong foot. He's right footed. That's fine then. Over to his right foot and shoot. Go on. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave now because I will never top this in this league. <laughs> what? I don't get it. I, I don't get it. We could potentially be, be beating the two best teams in the league back to back. I'm glad I checked what foot to shoot with. Oh my God. Gerald Lasala, welcome to MGH United. We have another star born. Unbelievable goal. Look how much it means to me, both here and in game. Well played, Lasala. Wow. That is something else. The space just opened up and I thought, why not? Why not? Even a draw is a good result. And now I'm potentially going to win. Just win that header. All that. That's nice. Could we get another one? Oh, the two Americans combining well. Lasala over to Joyce. Back to Lasala. Go on. With his left foot this time. Go on. Oh, <laughs> this is insane. He's done more than Garbit since he's come on. Remember the name, Gerald Lasala. Wow. We have just beaten West Brom, haven't we? We actually have. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. Let's go and get thrashed by Arsenal. That's what I'm going to say. I just saw, though, Barnsley and Coventry were playing. So that's quite a big game below us. Barnsley won. Okay, right. So... Bournemouth still have a game to play, but they're still miles ahead. But we are now two points above Forest, three points above Barnsley. Okay, four points above Stoke, but they have a game to play. But Coventry losing have now fallen back even further. So I'm just, I'm looking there because realistically, I think I will start to drop again, probably around to seventh or eighth. So I'm just having a look, basically. But uh, now it is time for that Arsenal game. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this one. Do I play five at the back? Oh, <laughs> no chance. Lasala is not going anywhere. What a game from him. No chance. Got a message from Lacey as well. He had a really good game. Uh, I'm sorry, but you're probably not going to start against Arsenal here. This is huge. And they've got some different players in there. They've got Trusty. Ballard, Damsgaard. Lukonga starts next to Partey. Well, that's a bit of a bit of a weird one. Um, do I go five at the back? I really want to beat Arsenal, but I don't I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that regardless of the formation we pick. Although looking at that starting lineup, it seems like they're not playing their first team. So we might get away with our best team potentially to get a win, <laughs> maybe. Um I think he deserves it. Lasala is gonna be on the bench here instead of Nkudu. Why not? Lasala can play on the left easily. Oh, I'm so excited to have another young player do well. All right, let's just go for it. Arsenal in the FA Cup. Yes, of course it's raining. It just had to be, didn't it? Is it going to be a gloomy day for us, weather-wise and results-wise? Look, the thing is, guys, this is what I want anyway. I don't actually care if it's in an early round or a later round. I just wanted to play against one of the top sides. 
Uh, of course, Arsenal aren't where they used to be. We can all admit that. The last 15 years have not... We've not aged well as a club, but I feel like we're getting back there and it's still, for me, one of the most elite clubs in the world. So to, to face them in this road to glory is just awesome. They definitely do not have the strongest lineup. There is a chance, okay? But they still have Erdegaard in there. Uh, it looks like they do have Saka on the right. Uh, I'm trying to pick out some other names. Partey and Lekonga are in there. But it's doable. You know, it absolutely is doable, this. How about this, Mikel? If I lose, I'll give you Staunton. If I win, you give me Saka. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be a trade. Actually, do you know what? Oh, wow. That's a poor challenge. Um, I wouldn't do that. I know that sounds mad, but Staunton is one of the most important players for me. I love the guy. And although I love Saka, I, I actually wouldn't do it. It would ruin the feel of this career mode completely, as if it's possible anyway. Saka's worth over 100 million. I think Staunton might be worth 15, 20, something like that. To be fair, he is almost 78 rated now, I think. So he's he's worth a bit. And Sambi's going to get a yellow card here for that poor challenge. Definitely deserved. I've just realized they've got Erdegaard and Damsgaard. Oh, no. Whoa, why did he pull back? He should have shot there. And we've come away with it. But yeah, they've got all the guards, haven't they? Well, two of them. How many other guards are there? I'm trying to think now. Oh, who cares? Focus on the game, Matt. <laughs> Here's Theo. Over to Patino. Into Nixon. And I've lost it to Sambi. Closing me down very quickly. I don't like Saka running at me. It's not a nice feeling. Well done, Burton. All right, we've got a corner coming in now. I've got a bad feeling about this. They've got some tall players in there, some very strong players. Go on out, Robinson. Oh, nice. Straight to Joyce. Let's go. Speeding up with the Rolls-Royce Joyce. Here we go. He's up against Saka, who's also very quick, so I don't think we get around there. Into Theo. Oh, look on the right side. No! Hit it against my own player, but we've made it work. Robinson. Play it back to Huggins. Cross coming in. It's not the best delivery ever. Win it again. Patino against his old club, of course. I forgot about that. Nixon. Theo. Shoot. Oh! Joyce! No! Oh my god. It could still happen. Joyce again. Blocked. <laughs> I think what it is, guys, is Arsenal look good going forward, but they're awful at the back. They're playing trusty. That's the uh, American that Arsenal signed. And Ballard. It's, it's not a great defence, to be honest. That's probably championship quality. So it's possible. Oh, not with a pass like that. We're never going to score. Half time against my beloved club Arsenal. Nil nil. And look, we're, we're <laughs> flying a linesman flag again. I think that might be a bug in one of these mods I'm using. I kind of want to score with Patino. Look what you're missing, Arsenal. I know he was never going to make it into their first team anytime soon. But now he'd have a shout at 76 rated, I think he is. Let me check. I wanted to show you earlier anyway. Yeah, look, 76 Patino, 77 Staunton, 76 Wheatley, Burton, Huggins, Theo. Our team is genuinely very good now. The ratings are just shooting up. Or oh, here we go. Patino against his old club. Oh, I think Leno probably had it covered. But it is high and wide. I'm going to make a sub now. I think it might be time for Lasala. What I'm going to do is put Robinson on the left, Staunton on the right, and Lasala in the middle. It's mad, isn't it? I'm playing him ahead of Garbit, but when you get a young player through that has a game like he just had, you just want to keep trying. You want to keep putting him in there. Maybe he'll make something happen. Come on, Gerald. Here he is now. Over onto the left, Robinson. Oh dear, that's not a good pass. Do not want to be giving it away in that kind of position. Sutton's done a great job, though. Let's go. Come on. Could it be a dream moment? Can we score a winner against Arsenal? Here's Lasala. Over to Sutton now. Back to Lasala. Patino. Top right corner. Oh. That moment is still yet to come. But maybe it will. I've won two really tough games in this mat uh, in this episode already. Can I win this match as well? We've still got time. Look at Saka go, man. Just so quick. 
Plays it back to Partey. That is a horrendous pass. Yeah, look at Patino go. This is how you play in central midfield, Thomas. <laughs> Here goes Robinson now. This could be it. Please. Please. No. Yes. Lasala. No. Corbianu. Yes. Theo scores. I haven't called him by his second name in a long time. What a strike. We're beating Arsenal. <laughs> I think this might go down as one of the best episodes I've made purely on results. This is ridiculous. Lasala with the shot. Falls for Theo Corbianu and there it is. Bottom left corner. He hasn't scored in a couple of games. He's got one now. And it is largely due to poor defending. Arsenal's team is not that strong defensively. I think, like, Raspadori, okay. A little bit of an interesting signing. But they're just not... They're not playing with their best players. They've not taken this game seriously. And the magic of the cup. Oh, my God. What have I just done? Oh, I've just flicked it and got, got rid of it like an idiot. Here is Damsgaard into Erdegaard. They might get an equaliser. What are you doing? Playing it back like that. Oh, no. Come on, Burton. Get there. <sighs> Arsenal have been so poor. They really have. I'm going to bring in Steele. And I'm going to bring in Lacey as well. Sorry, Patino, but I got a feeling if I want to hold on to this, I need to have some fresh fitness, fresh legs in midfield. Corner coming in. It looks like they've got Smith Rowe on. Here he is. Looks awful in game, doesn't he? Looks nothing like him. Can't wait for the new, uh, the new FIFA game. Maybe we're going to get some more faces like Smith Rowe's. Oh, that's a good ball. Could be an equaliser. No. Nope. Burton is there. No, come on. I'm just trying to get it clear. No. Don't do this game. No. Why did I slide in? Oh, okay. Bottom left. Bramley Turner's got this. Bottom left. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, wow. He just chipped it. This is unreal. I mean, <laughs> I can't, I can't say anything about that. Okay, well, there's no replay, is there? We don't go to the Emirates. We're just going to go to extra time as it stands, I think. Unless it's different now, I, I don't know. It's hard to keep track of what rules they're bringing in and taking out, and because of COVID and subs and five subs, no, three subs. It's a bit much sometimes, isn't it? Uh, the goal scorer, the penalty scorer, gets a yellow card there. Look at this. Lacey, go on. Oh, okay. Jordy Burton gives away a penalty and then blocks a certain goal. <laughs> it is injury time now, though. Oh, no. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. No. 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 Oh. Oh, my God. This is so cruel. I can't believe that's just happened. Genuinely blown away. We've just conceded in the last minute. Oh, I shouldn't have slid in. Oh, guys, what can I say? It's it's a, a weird feeling because it's Arsenal and I, I kind of don't care that they're doing well. But to lose that game, oh, my God. Oh. Uh. That really, really sucks. Oh, and Spurs get a 3-0 win as well. Jeez. Okay. Well, um, whilst it's disappointing that we've been knocked out, it is what it is, isn't it? There's nothing I can do about that. Next episode on Monday, we will have to recover from this, hopefully get a better result in the next game. Another offer coming in for Cargill. I'm just going to reject all offers. I'm not interested in selling him right now. We do have a scout report back on Click. Let's see how rate how high rated he is. 73. Oh, and by the way, I saw Ikong as well had six months remaining. Uh, but then I remembered it needs to be a midfielder for the objective. So decided against that. But um, could still look into it. I guess we could scout it. No, I, I don't need him. I don't need him. 73 rated Click. Nah. We don't need him either. So um, that's that, I guess. 
what a mentally draining, but also loads of highs as well. This episode has just been insane. Thank you for watching this week. I hope you've enjoyed the episodes. Uh, we're back on Monday. Game against Coventry, who are in 10th. They were one of the teams right with us. So, again, another big win. 16 games away from finding out whether we will be in the playoffs or not. I hope we make it. Of course, that'd be fun. But don't get excited, guys. We're not getting Premier League football yet. No chance. Mm -hmm.